This is Houston. Say again, please. Hey there folks, welcome ye all to part 5 of Baldur's Gate 3 on the PlayStation 5. We are exactly where we were at the end of the last part. People stood standing in exactly the same spot. Uh, I just wanted to, have, we are going to get stuck straight into this, but I just wanted to go into one comment that was left. I actually had this comment on one of the videos before I did the comments in the last part at the beginning, but for some reason this one passed me by, which is surprising because it's quite a long one, but it's got some good stuff in it. So I'm just going to quickly rattle through it, <clears throat> just so we've got some more tips to pick up on. Um, so obviously, I <clears throat> must have picked up, but once again, it's Ion Silver. So shout out to Ion Silver. And they've picked up on, uh, I have a feeling that something may have gone wrong with your tutorial. And that a lot of the places that should be showing instructional information aren't showing up properly. Leading to some basic game mechanics that are still pretty vague. Uh, that has been picked up on the fact that I think I mentioned that I... I I hadn't seen any tutorials to show me how to do some basic stuff. So it turns out from another comment as well that there was a, and I'm going to forget who the person is, but shout out to them as well for saying that there was a patch today. This is uh, Sunday the something or other, the 10th, Sunday the 10th of September. And there was a patch either today or yesterday that, fixed that tutorial issue and the tutorials now show up and if you remember in the last part i did mention that well I, there was a point where we went to do something basic and a tutorial popped up for it i thought well, why are you telling me that i already know that but obviously the tutorial stuff started to pop up now where it hadn't before so good to know that and good to know that it looks like it's been fixed uh, basically a lot i was asking about resting as well and uh, recuperating and, and getting stuffs back. Basically, a long rest is camping for the night, so the campsite looks different when you enter a long rest mode in different places. Each long rest replenishes you with uh, replenishes you with two short rests. The long rest advances some plot and can fully restore HP, which requires food consumption, while the short rest immediately restores a portion of your HP in place and uh, in place and consume nothing so if you're in the wilderness have just been through a battle and just need to recover a bit of hp one short rest is usually enough so that's good to know and in the last part we did use short rest instead of uh, a big rest and also it means that food is worth because I, I was just looking at camp supplies i'm assuming camp supplies just has a whole bunch of different foods in it so there is a reason to be picking up and gathering food in this game because if you do long rest it's going to want to use that stuff to replenish your stuffs uh, or all of your health and everything uh let me get to there uh have just been through a battle just near yeah, just yeah so short rests are usually enough uh, for coming out of battles, which is great, and it's also quick as well. Uh, aside from advancing the plot, the most important resource that a long rest replenishes is spell slots. You can think of it as something like mana, rather than just how many spells to choose from. This is why you may sometimes find your characters ca can't cast spells. They've run out of spell slots. Other actions may also require short or long rests to replenish, and you'll need to, uh, and you'll see the re relevant keywords in those actions info panel. So that's also interesting because my mind was actually on the fact that spell slots were to do with how many different spells you could hold on to, and that isn't the case. Spell slots are like mana, which means the more spell slots you've got, the more times you can cast a spell, and that's all that means. So that's great information. That is a there is no need to economize too much on the long rest, though. Many of the companion's personal storylines rely on the long rest to proceed, and there's more than enough food in this game as long as you keep an eye on looting. So there you go. So thank you very much to Ion Silver once again for... Well, it's Ion Silver 557 if you want to be very specific, people. <laughs> But there you go. It was a good one to read out and well worth uh, well worth a mention. So I thought I'd do that before we get cracking. And with all of that said, people, let's get cracking. Let's get to it. Now, I think uh, they said that there was voices. There was voices ahead. Let's see what's going on. Right, well, the quest marker is that way. Well, it's kind of both paths. They might lead to one in the same place. Oh, oh, there we go. There's voices up there, people. The bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Zevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Zevlor, now! 
you let goblins here? Where is the druid? Please, there's no time! By the nine hells, open the gates! <coughs> Provoke the blade and suffer its sting. Well, Will looks like a character we might get into our party, perhaps. Fight! Bloody hell, right. We've got loads of people on this battlefield. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, we've got archers up the top here as well. Uh, well, I think we want some cover which I think we might get there so I might go for a bit of a stand there another step forward see so I'm one of these people I'd rather get everybody in a position before I start dishing out the action moves I suppose I can end the turn does that mean I get two action points next time around? I'm not sure about that one, but uh, let's just keep doing what we've been doing. Seems to have been work well, it worked out in the last fight pretty well. Piercing shot, yeah, let's get a piercing shot going. Not enough movement. So what's that about? How is there not enough movement to do the guy to the left, but there's enough to do that guy and that guy? I didn't think I needed movement to do my... Uh... Oh, does I, do I need to move in order to actually hit him? I might, I might have blocked his sight of or something. 60 on that one. Or, well, I'm not going to be able to hit them, am I? Because I can't see them. Oh, mind you, that one's visible. It's also got a green... Oh, that is that's, what, that's a good guy, is it? Is a green one a good guy, then, and we're saying, yeah. So we don't want to hit them. Reds only. Right, let's go for it. Let's go for the 65% jobber, then. Oh, God damn it. Missed it. Right, yeah, so this is where Hyde comes in, and I can't do it now because of no movement to do it. But you have to be outside of the red in order to hide. So, let's see if we've got something else. Oh, that's Hyde. Oh, not sure what that's all about. Ah, well, that was a green guy that did that, so I've got to assume that's a good thing. On my way. Let's go for a... Uh, she's got some spells, hasn't she? Firebolt. Blessing of the Trickster. Not tried that one yet. Yeah. Might be better with a bow move. Hmm. 
I'm gonna just try just ending this well yeah just ending this turn to see if I get an extra move next time around I don't think I will though Oh crap, I didn't see them. Oh, I didn't see that guy right in front of us. God's sakes. Nice, two misses. put grease on us which means that fire might come shortly if that's how it works it could just be slippy I've got no idea all right here we on here uh, oh Lizelle Yeah, I had a feeling I was going to fall over. God damn it. The spider can't seem to get out of where it is. A rough tempest I will raise. Right, he's not got, or he's not able to cast spells, which is making me think that I've not sorted my spell. My spell slots down at the bottom are empty. However, I'm pretty sure did we not have something that gave us some spell slots? I'm sure, we picked up a potion. There, it's there. No, that's the resist lightning one. Gain an additional level one spell slot. Yeah, I've not been using these scrolls either. I wonder if the, I wonder if this is where the scrolls come in. So if. For example, if I've not got a spell slot available, but I've got a scroll, I can still use the scroll to cast damage rather than use a spell slot, which is quite cool, I suppose. Um, oh, I can learn the spell as well. Right, I can cast it or I can learn it. Right, I'll have a think about that later. What is this for as well? Can equip it. Oh well. Probably give him an extra spell of some description, I think. Right, let's go on with it, Steve. A. Uh... All oh, right. <laughs> it's given me an extra slot, but it's not given me. Oh, actually, it's highlighted one of them I can use, but I've used the action, so I can't actually cast it. But I have got a cast for next time. I don't even have a, a bonus action for him, do I? By sickle and sword. I could have moved out of the grime though, which I didn't do. Well, there's a 94% chance of hitting that badger there. Gonna get a sneak shot on him. Yep. Oh, he's dead as well. Critical hit. Nice. Is nice. Yeah, I think we tried the whole hiding thing before and we couldn't do it, so... Uh... I 
think there's much point to resistance to lightning at the minute. Potion of speed. Double your movement speed. So what does that mean? That I, I can go from 9 to 18? Should be quite cool. But not for her particularly. Right, hang on. Let's try and take this badger out. There's a guy up there. Let's get rid of this guy first, if we can. slightly confused as to what she is really I mean other than healing people which the target gains a for bonus ability checks So, I mean, why? Why is that 50%? I mean, it's a straight fucking line of sight. And what that is all about. And that's 55. I would have expected that to be out of range, but it doesn't seem to be. not got enough movement to get there quite clearly do also she's got no spell slots lit up but seems to be able to do a fire move and stuff must work differently oh well let's just try the fire and see what happens Bet your bottom dollar at missing. Oh, we've got two on him. I feel like one of my characters is really badly injured, but can't see who it is. Uh, I suppose there's jump, isn't there? Can I jump out of this shit? Oh, this is the spider. Arachnid jump. There we go. Nice. That was worth a shot. Main hand attack. Uh, pommel strike. Now let's go for the attack. <clears throat> Whoa. That did it. Goblin bow. 
the same, just a slightly different look to it, I think. Well, I can go up here. I had a feeling that were going to happen. Yeah, need to wait till next time. Right, let's get you jumped out of there. Can he jump? Yes, he can. double movement cost as well so I can't move as far as I normally would what <laughs> what happened there I thought I hit jump the spider was able to jump it oh, for fuck's sake right I don't know why I'm getting... Can I do it up here? Oh, I can as well. Check that out. Just dished a spider up to this guy. Nice. worth noting that I didn't get two action shots the second time around for at least I don't think I did unless I haven't used it yet yeah I can't hit them it's too far away what about this badger 55 What about that guy? Oh, he's too far away. I think that's three shots that have missed that guy now. Might start to move character here. Yeah, she's only got one shot, so... It's really limiting how far they can move, isn't it? Two to seven, one to ten. Don't understand why her, why it's so bad. Like, I must have a. Is it because he's on higher ground? I can assume that it is. Forty. Must have the advantage because he's on higher ground or something. These all look like goodies. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Got a six pointer off him. I think my spider got annihilated. Yeah, I think I'm missing a trick with jump, you know. I think we can get jumping toward people. I think jump does use the move points, though. I mean, how is that a 65% chance of a hit? It must be fast. <laughs> Nice. He did. Don't know what a rogue's morsel is. Oh, potion of healing. I'm going to lose health if I jump down there. So that's interesting. You can't just jump wherever you like. We can jump to there without any great deficit. And to there. But not all the way to the ground. Interesting. Goes, you've been a complete bag of no help. Well, apart from spiders, I suppose, as a. Of course. I'm actually trying to spot where. Where is there a bad guy still? Is he up here? Yeah, he is. Well, I think they're going to kill him. But I won't be able to hit him, I don't think. Nah, I'm too far away. <coughs> well... Only a 60% chance of a hit. if we get a better shot from here. Can't slow down. Aye. Nice. Using the height advantage, people. Well, got to press on. Might as well do it for each of them then. I think she can fire at him as well. Well, she's got a sixty percent. I mean, how is that possible? She must be worse at it than her. She must uh, be not as be good with bows and stuff. But that still doesn't answer the question as to why her firebolt isn't as. Uh... Yeah, that's even worse. Him. That nice. Inside, all of you, more may follow. Open the gate. 
Well, that went all right. Go ahead. Seriously, dude, I was trying to pick something up. A waypoint discovered. Right. Everybody come up here then. If you're going to insist on following me, just want to pick this up. Yeah, I think we've already searched him, Stephen. Yeah, and him. Loot the battlefield! Simple toxin potion. A Viridian Crystal. Diluted oil of sharpness. Alchemical ingredients. Combine three of these to grind them into salts. Warg Fang, sure, why not? Goblin Brawler. Oh, gold. <laughs> Plus two armor. Ooh, gloves of power. Be putting them on then. Absolute's Bane. On a melee hit, possibly inflict a minus 1d4 penalty to the target. Attack rolls and saving throws. Well, we need that on someone. Where? No, just a melee hit, yeah. So, maybe not Sky then. are they worth? Well, yeah, what they're actually saying they're worth there might not be true in real life right enough. And by that I mean just because it's worth that amount doesn't mean that's what a vendor will give us for it. Well, we can go in. I am aware that we haven't discovered a bit of the the map up the other side, but I feel like there might be a shop in here. Let's clear out the inventory a bit. I knew it was ready to let them have us. There are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! Oh, hang on. Just take a note of where we are. Where there's one goblin, there's ten. I'm leaving before the hordes show up. Uh, one fight just ended and now you're picking another. Relax. Druid, those goblins didn't take any prisoners. You can cough up my payment anytime now. Uh, rogue. I've seen much bloodier battles than this. Consider yourselves lucky. And who the hell are you again? Show some respect. This woman saved your pathetic life. Well, I didn't ask for any goddamn help. Please, you were begging me to open the gate. Anything to save yourself, you coward! The human's eye twitches. He's about to blow. Uh, 
take a swing at the tiefling. Aim a blow at the human. If you want me to take both of you down, I will. Otherwise, knock it off. More violence won't bring back those you lost. Stop and think. I did take persuasion. As one of my things. Persuasion. Yeah, more violence won't bring back those you lost. Stop, to, stop and think. Oh, God, I need a 15 roll. Seriously? Total bonus, 3 to 6. Oh, I think that 1d4 must mean somewhere between 1 and 4. <laughs> because it's it, I'll get plus 2 from the first one. Bastard. It's not going to work. Failed. Uh, use inspiration roll again. Sure, why not? Oh, hello. Critical success. You're right. There's too much at stake. Shadowheart approves. Worried about your precious eyes. The both of you. Enough! Squabbling is pointless. Gale approves. The goblins have found us. At least we agree on that. More goblins could be on their way. Well, one person got a level up. I'm not sure why they're so special. Is parasite than a few goblins. We need a healer. It was the Githraki. Indolence breeds madness. Ooh. Superiority dice. Four. Specialization available. Uh, you acquire the following. Specialization available. Health increased to 28. Superiority dice 4. Gained 3 passives. Wow. Uh, battle masters are paragons of tactical, tactical superiority. Combining combat and maneuvers and experience in the field to dominate every fight. You acquire the following. Oh, right. This is me picking a subclass. Uh... Uh, okay, I see. Okay. You get spells for her. I wonder if I should make her a melee beast, though. Champion. You approach a complex problem posed by combat with one distinctly effective solution. You hit those problems really quite hard. Improves critical hit. Gain three passives. Yeah, I think we'll just go with Battlemaster. Get three passives. Here we go. Get to pick them now. Uh, Commander Strike. Spend an action and re and a re spend an action and a reaction to direct an ally to strike a foe. The ally immediately uses their reaction to make a quick. A, a weapon attack. Yeah, reaction's what we're after, isn't it? As a general thing, really. Spend an action and a reaction to direct an ally to strike a foe. The ally immediately uses their reaction to make a, a weapon attack. Yeah, so I think I haven't got... Reaction is what I keep referring to, I think, as Overwatch. It's like if something happens, that character will make a swing for it or try something. Um, I think that's forcing another character to do that. I think I might take that, you know. How many have I got to choose from? Yeah, ooh, trip attack. Swing your weapon in a rat. Well, this, the trip attack... There's a chance to put them on the into prone, so it makes them fall over basically. Sweeping attack, swing your weapon in a rapid sweeping arc 
to attack multiple enemies at once. Roll your superiority die for damage. When a hostile creature misses you with a melee attack, expend a superiority die to retaliate with a powerful strike. Passive uh, rally. Expend a superiority die to grant an ally eight temporary hit points, bolstering their resolve. Spend a superiority die to make an attack that deals an additional 1 to 8 damage and possibly pushes the target back 4.5. Add it to the result of an attack roll. Okay. Well, I think we'll definitely take the top one. Spend the spirit of die to make an attack that deals an additional 1 to 8 damage and possibly forces the target to drop the weapons they are holding. Distract your target, giving your allies advantage on their next attack roll against the target. Evade attacks by imposing disadvantage on melee attacks against, against you for a round. Ah, you can use both your action and bonus action on a turn to attack a target with advantage and deal an additional 1 to 8 damage. That's pretty decent. Deal an additional 1 to 8 damage and attempt to goad the target into attacking you. On hit, select which friendly creature will gain half its movement speed. It will not provoke attacks of opportunity. Alright. Uh, well, that rally looks quite good. Expend a superiority die to grant an ally eight temporary hit points. Bolstering their resolve. Repost. When a hostile creature misses you, with a melee attack, expend a superiority die to retaliate with a powerful strike that deals an additional 1 to 8 damage. Take it out. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. And party! Right, I think we've got them, people. Well, there was one I did fancy, but I haven't taken. Gith, Gith Yankee Psionics Jump. A spell. Transmutation spell. Triple triple a creature's jumping distance. Nice. <laughs> That'll do night. Oh how? <laughs> He's gone up as well. I no realize for the wicked I see. Ready and willing. He's a level 3 wizardary. Health increased 14 to 20. Level 1 spell slot unlocked. Level 2 spell slots unlocked. That's interesting. Level 1 spell slot unlocked. Level 2 spell slots unlocked. New spell, new spell. Yeah. Alright, well... Spell slots is also to do with what kinds of spells you can oh no two new spells was fine that was a separate thing yeah. hey oh christ i'm trying to remember what did we not try and specialize in something for him that i can now not remember because at some point i decided what his specialty was going to be did i not Can't remember for the life of me what it was. 
Enchantment, enchantment. Uh, Tasha's high, hideous laughter. Leave a creature prone with laughter without the ability to get up. <laughs> nice. When you are about to be hit by an enemy, increase your armor class by five. You take no damage from magic missile. That's oh, a reaction. And that's what we're after, reaction stuff, isn't it? Poison. Ray of Sickness. 2 to 16 poison damage. Well, I think we'll definitely take a one that's going to do some damage. Seven temporary hit points. Is there any other reaction ones? Action and reaction, yeah. So we want reaction moves is what I was after. That's your Overwatch stuff, isn't it? Overwatch. That's a bonus action. Not actually looking at what these are. I'm just looking to see if there's any other reaction ones at the minute. Retreat. Gain dash immediately and as a bonus action on each of your turns until this spell ends. Protection from evil and good. Abjuration spell. Prepared spells, known spells. Well, that's my reaction move. But what are we going to lose to put it on? We've not used sleep yet. Find Familiar has been useful so far. I think Witch Bolt's probably the one I've used least. 1 to 12. What does that do poison wise? 2 to 16. What I should be looking for is area of effect stuff as well. Is that blood? No, never mind. Well, that would probably have a decent save here at this point. We'll do a proper one. Forgive that display. Aradin's a blowhard, but that's no cause for me to join him. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. I'm Sky. Well met. I should warn you, 
Visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. It's bloody charming, isn't it, when you put your life on the line? I have no quarrel with the druids. Why are they for forcing you out? Those goblins, have they been? Have there been many attacks like that? I won't be staying long, I just need to find a healer. Uh, I have no quarrel with the druids. There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We are no fighters. This ritual, is there no way to convince the druids to stop it? I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though? I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. I'll see what I can do. Uh, I'm sorry I've got my own problems. I am my own temporal concerns. I need a healer. Oh, I have, I have my own temporal concerns. Uh, what are you offering for my aid? Yeah. I'll see what I can do. I think you should. Yes. No harm in trying the diplomatic route. We'd owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. Two more level ups. Well, let's do Shadowheart first. I'm ready. Cleric level three. Blimey. You acquire the following. Jesus, really? <laughs> How much stuff? Increased uh, health increased 17 to 24. Level one spell slot unlocked. Level two spell slots unlocked. And then we've got aid, blindness, calm emotions, enhanced abil enhance ability, hold person, lesser restoration. What does that do? Cure a creature from disease, poison, paralysis or blindness. Well, we definitely need that because we haven't got anything to undo things at the moment. Prayer of healing. Outs can only be used outside of battle. Heal all allies you can see. Yeah, that would well, be well useful, wouldn't it? Protection from poison. Create a soundproof severe all with uh, uh, all within a silenced. All oh, right, the silence is what was getting put on me. Summon a floating spectral weapon that attacks your enemies alongside you. Nice. Ward an ally. They gain resistance to all damage and a plus one bonus to their armor class and saving throws. Pass without trace. Call forth a veil of shadows and silence and silence that gives you and all nearby companions a plus 10 bonus to stealth check. Uh, healing word heal all your allies and increase their hit point maximum by 5 hit points well we're definitely going to need that Heal all allies you can see. What? Why have I never used that? Or have I only just got these? No, I haven't. Because I thought she was doing the healing for me. Yeah, she was. So I already had those. Oh, I can only be used outside of combat, yeah. It's 
a level two spell as well. Well, that definitely wants to be on for battles, doesn't it? Heal all your allies. That's the... Oh, it's just called Aid. Spiritual weapon looks quite cool as well. A let's get rid of guiding bolt for a minute. Put aid in its place. I feel like I've gained a whole bunch of spells I can use, but only the prepared ones can be used in battle, can't they? So I can only take so many in. Hold a humanoid, a humanoid enemy still. They can't move at or react. Attacks from within three meters are always critical hits. That's quite cool, isn't it? Three to thirty damage for inflict wounds. 4 to 11 damage on that weapon. Oh, the, no, the weapon's a bonus action. Can't give up now. Specialization available. Health increased to 24 from 17. Fast hands is a new bonus action. Second story work, whatever that is. You've mastered the art of falling and gained resistance to falling damage. Nice. Subclass. Ah, right, okay. So those moves that I got on the first screen are from that. If we change subclass, we'll get something different. Any successful attack roll against a surprise creature is a critical hit. Gain an additional bonus action. Well... Quest markers seem to be going that away. Let's just have a look up here first. I want to find a shop, really, before we trigger anything else. Kaldani. Aridin's back with his tail between his legs. I'm glad for your help, but I'd hoped you were Halsin. Uh, but hoped what? But I'd hoped you were Halsin. Sorry to disappoint. I'm looking for a healer. Let's skip the local drama. <laughs> Sounds like you've crossed paths with Aradin before. Who's who's Halsin? The druid in charge of this grove. 
At least, he was. Guess if he didn't come back with Aridan, that might not be the case. trouble yet <laughs> well, I keep getting weird things happening on that oh this is stealing yeah they're coming up red aren't they so we're not meant to touch them Embarrass yourself. He is gone. No! <laughs> you need to avenge this, spill some goblin blood. I'm sorry, it happened so fast. He's dead, stop wasting your time. I'm sorry, it happened so fast. Someone's going to pay for this. Arca, no, wait! What are you doing? I feel like I shouldn't be looting him. Let's keep your hands to yourself. You're being watched. I had a feeling that was going to happen. There's a little yellow symbol down here. There we go. Arika. Glad you were here for those goblins. Picked one off yesterday myself. Shot her through the throat. Well, that should have killed her, but... She kept gasping. Clawing at the arrow. Your first kill? Don't worry, it gets easier. Wish I'd seen that. It's boring when they just drop dead. Taking life always has a cost. You have to feel it, or you'll lose who you are. I had the same thought. And it's just going to keep happening. Well, there's a little camp symbol on the top of this one. Whoa, what the hell? Well, he's a bad one, for sure. Your enemies are surprised and cannot take actions. Well, that's a... I think they're okay. I think it's just this badger here. I've got two bonus actions now. <laughs> Not enough resources for action. Really? Why did it let me pick it in the first place then? What path lies before me? Oh, d I, I think I might have put toxin on my bow. I think it's put toxin on my bow so when I shoot next time it'll poison them. I thought I was going to throw it. I am fury. I am death. 
They seem, she seems to be able to move a little bit further now as well because of her level up. Make way. That's the rally move that we got. Oh, hang on, we've got our action move here. Commander's Strike. Direct an ally to strike a foe. The ally uses a reaction on their next turn to make a weapon attack. <laughs> Onus of battle. Three illusionary duplicates of yourself that distract attackers. Each duplicate increases your armor class by three. Let's just go with the bow shot. Mind you, he's fairly, uh, he's got a fair few points in him, this guy. I see them. Look how he ghosted around me. Oh, you can pick which spell slots to use. One or two. Ray of Sickness. That seemed to work. Blimey, get another shot at him. Oh yeah, I think it's because of that reactionary thing I put on. Yeah, that's why it's got that weird... Uh, maybe. Can I move up anywhere? Yes, I can. With haste. <laughs> Opportunity attack. Leaving an enemy's melee range allows them to attack you as a re as a reaction. Avoid, excuse me, avoid this by taking the disengage action first. Ah, that's what disengage is for. <coughs> Critical hit, nice. He's only got four left in him. attack 
She not got the pommel strike. Is the other one that's got it? That's pommel strike there. I will not know failure. <laughs> you sly bastard! Well, the good thing is it's a sub action. Well, whatever it is. A bonus action, so I can still use my main action. There he goes. Don't think he got a hit in, did he? Nadira. You have good timing. Never been much of a fighter, so wrestling a bugbear would have gone poorly. But you're not here for heroics, are you? Avernus's stench is all over your skin. Let me guess. Your devil mistress sent you to get her soul coin back. But too bad. I earned it, fair and square. Uh, coin, mistress, you lost me. I've been to Avernus, but I'm no devil's servant. That bugbear would have crushed your skull. This is the thanks I get. <laughs> Coin, mistress, you lost me. You almost seem honest. Care to explain why you reek of the hells? Uh, you wouldn't believe me if I told you persuasion. A mind flayer abducted me and its ship went straight to Avernus. What the shit's happening? There's two dice now. That'll do nicely. Well, that's quite the story. And I thought I was doomed. Now I feel sorry for you. Here, take this. It's worth a fortune. But a fortune's not worth much if you're dead. Consider it payment for saving my life. A soul coin, true to its name, holds a mortal soul inside. It serves in the Nine Hells as very valuable currency. Coins worth plenty. Don't let a squid get their tentacles on it. Right, well. You peer through the telescope. It was a bit of a blurry telescope. Perception. Squint at the distant object, trying to make out further details. Focus the telescope on the distant object, trying to get a clear view. Well... I do try and hit it as it pulsates towards me. Uh, it does seem to have some sort of impact on the higher numbers, but I, 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 tell me if I'm wrong, but that seems to be my experience so far. Dragon! You see a dragon circling like a bird of prey, hunting. Move the telescope left. The telescope points to the left. Uh, move it to the right. The telescope points straight ahead. Oh, straight ahead. Right. The telescope points to the right.
The telescope points straight ahead. Well, I think that's all there's to see there then. The hell? Now completely lost as to where I've been, but anyway. He always knew what to say when I was homesick. Now we've already spoken to Caldani, have we not? Have some respect. This really isn't the time to talk. Right, you are. Yet to find a single soul that wants to do business with me. Ah, we're right back at the beginning again because that was the fires that I saw. So. That's where we came up from. Oh no, it's not, it's just a cleft. Oh yeah, that's where the fight was. It's fine. Okie dokie. Let's go down to the That'll be the druids then, one reckons. God damn it. Something over there. Survival successful on the last one. Need a shovel. No hope of clearing this without a shovel. <clears throat> yeah, I was going to say, I think this is going to take us underneath where that fight was, whether that. Yeah, it has. Oh, we could have climbed down there then, after all. Not to worry. Gonna buy me a shovel, people, once I find a shovel shop. Well, it doesn't say it's thievery. We'll leave it alone just in case. The hollow. There's got to be a shop in here now. Come on. Aaron. <laughs> My son's exact spelling of the name. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met, and thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. A trade, here we go. And I'm wondering if trade has popped up before with other people, and I haven't actually noticed, <laughs> now that I'm looking at where it is. Are you really locking down the grove? I'm looking for a healer. What are you selling? 
Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Well, uh, I'll get rid of some of my bits and bobs then. Oh, yeah. Needle of Outlaw Rogue. When did I get that? It's only got four to seven on it, but is that not a dagger instead of it? Yeah, it is a dagger, that. I'm going to hang on to that. A potion of animal speaking we'll hang on to just in cases. They're all being worn at the top. I'm not sure, but I'm sure that must just be for selling that jade. Precious mineral. Yeah. Parents slip these stones under their children's pillows to ward off nightmares. Hmm. I'm probably going to regret uh, selling some of this stuff, but some of these gems are probably for selling, and some of them are probably for socketing and stuff, maybe. You know how I've been lighting the braziers and all that? I'm wondering if it's because I've got a candle or not. wonder if getting rid of it's a bad idea. I think we'll get rid of necklaces for now. For Papa. I'm assuming it's going to tell me if there's a... Uh, if they're quest items. Cape of the Red Prince, a noble warrior's cloak woven in the heart of an ancient empire. What the hell did that do? Um. Oh, bollocks. Oh, he's offering me 92 gold. That's what it is. Okay. A bicorn of the sea beast. Oh, it's a hat. I haven't noticed half of this stuff. Yeah, that's a point. Because I put some of this stuff as a... Add to wares kind of thing, didn't I? But I don't seem to see a add all wares thing going on. This is only Sky's inventory as well, which is a bit annoying. <laughs> uh, bronze ingot's bound to be used for bloody crafting or something, surely. We've got an extra pair of gloves, don't we, that we've not given to anyone yet. We need to sort the shields out as well. Shadowheart's wearing a shield. A Lizelle is not, though.
Christ, if I find a book that's like Book of the Dead Gods that's been like, probably only one in the whole land and it's only worth six gold. Still not sure what they are. There's bottle, just a bottle. It's only worth one. Right, well, I'm not overly sure I want to get rid of anything else cause just in case the, for another reason. An ineligible letter. A mouldering scroll containing what remains of an ancient ritual. Right, well, I think that'll do for now. 178 gold. Nice. Let's see what he's got to sell then. He's got some armour. 242. Fucking hellfire. It's nice though. I don't want to start wasting all my gold on that though. Otherwise I might find myself in a bit of bother. Has he got potions? Oh, I'll tell you what we do need. Has he got kits for... Well, that's thieves tools. Oh, he's got potions as well, actually. 69 each. Fucking hell. Scroll of Ray Frost. Scroll of Charm Person. Oh, arrows of ice, arrows of fire. Nice. Trap disarm toolkit. 290 each. Fucking hell. That's outrageous. But we just want one, don't we, for that big tomb. Uh, that big uh, sarcophagus. Uh, but we're not going to have lost anything by doing that. I mean... He's still giving us 178, even though we've taken one of those. A leather helm, light armour, that's for our character. Does that say light or what? Padded armor, light armor, armor class of 12. Not proficient with medium armor. All oh, right, yep, yeah, that's fine. The others probably are, but uh, so that's for our character. Maybe. That's heavy armor, yeah. 460 gold. Well, so far as I can tell, we've only got 372 at the moment, plus whatever he's about to dish out. And I feel like I want some potions. Those, yeah, I might take those potions. Okay, so that looks like it's kind of balancing out a little bit. I'm giving him seven gold or something now, I think, down there. That we can't quite see because of that tip. Hey, I quite fancy these arrows as well. Deals 4 to 11 damage and explodes, dealing additional fire damage caught in the flames. It might be quite good as well. I'm gonna I'm gonna invest in this sort of stuff and hope that we find the armor we need rather than having to buy it. But uh, could be making a horrible mistake. But you know. We can't buy armor for everyone. We've got gloves there though. Missile snaring. You can intercept missiles from ranged weapon attacks, reducing their damage by one to ten. Plus your dexterity modifier. They're nice, aren't they? I haven't got 368 to spend on them, though. Any more, anyway. They're more expensive than the bloody armour. 
I feel like they're more unique though. They're they're like a blue. A, well, a blue's a magic item, isn't it? It's a rare. That's a rare. Blues are rare, and that's uncommon. So the blue ones are. Yeah, that ring's got a move on it. Throwing boost. The wearer gains one to four bonus to throw damage. Right, where's that leave us? Apart from with no money. <laughs> if I hit that square button now, I've got no idea what he's going to be asking me for. Well, he's left me 34, but he's at, he must have asked for something to trade in. I don't know what, though. Should we accept it? My offer is 550. Trader's offer is 668. Balance, oh, I can balance it again. Oh. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I seem to make it worse with my square. God damn it. Sorry guys, I've gone very quiet. It's because I'm thinking about the, the money side of things here. Uh, I think we can get rid of that mace. I'm not actually sure how this has all panned out, but uh, if we could find a couple of extra things just to give him, we could end up just... I've got no cash left if we do this, basically. Yeah, there's a class 14 armor there that someone's not wearing. You get that put on Shadow Heart or somebody. Couldn't see the wood for the trees, people. the scrolls worth a little bit well that's a complete balance now well that seemed to work even though I'm now left with zero gold <laughs> <laughs> Our persuasion seems to be um I've got a discount of minus nine percent. Bloody hellfire. Sylvanus, guide your path. Be careful near a trader's watchful eyes. Attitude towards you affects the price of their stock. Alright. Don't piss them off then basically. 
Right, let's just see if we can sort. I did get me my, my superb gloves though. Let's be sticking those on. Uh, uncommon gloves of power. Absolute bane on melee hit. Yeah, we'll give those to someone else. We'll give those to Lizelle. Equip. Ooh, they're nice. Take that back. Right now. Uh, helmet, yeah, I thought we... There we go. Well, we've got a few cool arrows to use in fights now as well, which might give us a bit of area of effect. A ringmail armor. We don't even know these people. That doesn't matter. Of course it does. Not proficient with heavy armor. I uh, was that. Mm. Need to change to. Can we stop shouting? No. One of them has got to be proficient with heavy armor. Uh... Action, not reaction. There is work to do. Where the hell did it go? There it's there. Well, it says she's not preferred. Yeah, she's medium armor. Vlakis will be done. Calm down, please. Armor class fifteen, medium armor. You're going to get us killed. So I don't have anyone that's heavy armor as it happens. <laughs> so. It's of no use to me at the minute. So, let's send that to camp. I've got two bloody shields there as well. Send that to Rozel. Right, well, we've sorted out the inventory a bit. It was, it was starting to wind me up. There's a few bits that I certainly don't want to be getting rid of just yet because, like that bronze ingot and stuff, in case we want to try making something or... But we've certainly sorted ourselves out. I think uh, that's probably an ideal place to wrap it up. I think I've gone way over an hour and a half here. Yeah, I have. It's nearly an hour and 40 minutes, people. <laughs> we're getting into the nitty-gritties of things now, people. Haven't us... Uh, sort the inventories out and everything else i need to stop picking up pointless things though uh they don't really you don't really get a huge amount of money for a lot of those basic things i was picking up uh i could give that to Sh uh, gail there was a sort of piratey hat kicking around what happened to that we don't even know these people that doesn't matter of course it does you no, actually seeing it now. It was a weird looking hat somewhere, people. Can we stop shouting? It's not the easiest inventory on the eye, but I remember the Divinity ones being like this as well. It's just a big grid of stuff that you've picked up. <laughs> I don't know where that went, unless I've sold it by mistake. I feel like I was just looking at it, though. Anyway, and I'm also sure there was a button that let me order. Ah, you can put filters on it as well. Nice. Filter the menu down. down. Please. I won't leave them behind. You're going to get us killed. Yeah, I'm almost positive I was in the menu at one point. Let me sort it out. But I think, do you know what it was? I think it might have been the the box, the uh, the chests. Anyway, I'll have a little look off camera, perhaps, to see if I can figure that out. Uh, but what I'm getting at is an auto sort button in the in the inventory. I'm sure there was an auto sort. 
Ah, oh, you can always minimise someone's menu as well if you just want to look at one person's inventory. Or one person's inventory, I should say. Yeah, can't seem to see anything that lets me auto-sort it. I'd expect to click a stick to do it. Right, well, there you are, people. Let me know in the comments below about anything I've missed, anything I've mentioned that you know the answer to. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed that once again. Had a bit of action, had a bit of walking around, had a bit of conversation, had a bit of sort of the inventory out, a bit of everything in there, people. Well, there you are, folks. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in Baldur's Gate 3 on the PlayStation 5. And I'll catch you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.